Greetings and salutations. This is part two of this episode. As you all know, I told I and I traveled from the 11th of July to the highest point in the United States of America. I ran there. I didn't really run there. I went there with my family because of the Gulf oil spill. The deep sea horizon event as it's called. Colorado is a very spiritual place. It is over 5,000 feet just on the lowest part of the plane. My intentions were to stay because I realized that 2012 was just around the corner. There are a lot of prophecies out there, some man-made. I am not sure whether the government is trying to cause panic, but I see everything as one. I see God and Satan as two sides of one coin. I had no permanent residence when I went. I was living out of a extended stay hotel, seeking employment and support. There was no support from my so-called followers, a few people as always supported me, whether it's spiritually or financially, i like to thank the DJ AD, who also supported me in my sabbatical in the year 2006. But I had not the support to survive, even though things are happening in the world, I saw it fit to return to Florida. Regroup. I must inform the public that we were organized while I was in the Mile High City. There are certain brothers out there, a few of them, who are aligned with the teachings of I Tall Ivan I. We did organize and we are currently working on the Master Blaster Jamming. We are in contact with the LaRota Group, the Black Bull, and there is a lecture schedule for September around Yom Kippur out the west coast California we'll give you further information on that I'd like to thank my friend Jaleva for assisting me or helping me bring forth the message of peace and unity which I will deliver at his healing center in California. I hope he's not uh, it's okay to announce this. It is on the calendar I have been told so look forward to that event in September around September 22nd get back with us 
for more information on that lecture. Uh, I'm told that there will be a concert there and a few more speakers. The message will be from I. The necessity of unity as we approach the enigmatic year of 2012. When I say unity, I mean not only black people, but the entire human race. I found that there is a necessity for unity. There are some people upon orbship Earth that are in need of help. There are certain people on orbship Earth who have the wherewithal to help. It is vital that we help each other. Isn't it funny how natural disasters bring about these concerns? Another issue I would like to address briefly is a lot of our young people are listening to the so-called conscious rappers. I have noticed that these brothers have only pieces of the message. The message is not complete. Extravagancy bitter. The message is not complete. So we ask you to come for further, for further instructions. I am your brother, the Rastafar I. I told Ayman I. You are now in tune on the one, the force itself. At this time, we call it the Master Basser Jammin. A lot of the young brothers are listening to the so called conscious hip hop rappers. They are not sages, they do not have experience. So their message is not complete. For your information, the Rastafari is an enlightened being. Until now, there was no order in Rastafari. Each man was supposed to be a government unto himself. Each man was supposed to be a government unto himself. A Rastafari was like is like a, a Buddha or Christ, one who woke up. So it is a saying in Rastafari, many are the called, few are the chosen. Think about it. I have not seen as of yet anyone my age of the Rastafari movement internationally teaching the people whether it's by via YouTube MySpace Facebook or internet and what I do hear or let's say from the so-called uh, uh, the Ethiopian uh, World Federation I believe the brother's name Adonis uh, 